Welcome back to Comston Farm and we are sitting in Mr. Cartex tractor. Um, if you watched the last episode you will know that I did a contract over on field 7 to mow and bale that for him and we are then going to get all our bales collected. So let's roll the intro and get to work. But yeah we have mowed and bailed field seven and uh, we very kindly were provided with a crone big m to get that done and uh, we need to deliver these bales unfortunately to the bga which we own so not only is cartek going to pay us about twenty thousand pounds for the pleasure of mowing his um bales i'm not sure if we're going to get the or mowing his grass and making bales I'm not sure if we're going to get the silage going to our BGA and we can make some money off that as well then. Um, either way, he has said that there's probably going to be some bales spare so we can have those, um, which is awesome. And then we also have all of our bales to collect across the five grass fields that I mowed in the previous episode. Um, and again, you're a very generous man, Carter. He has said that we can uh, hang on to his Fent 930 and the Anderson bale trailer to get those moved to our farm which is ever so generous of you sir. I so far have not put any dents in your tractor. It, yeah, first bit of the is going to be me clearing these bales off and then uh, we need to roll, we need to fix the time. There we go. We need to roll our grass fields that we've cut. I'm I don't know if I want to roll the bigger ones. I might just spread fertilizer on those. We'll see how it goes. We've only got a six meter roller, which we actually need to configure into grassland mode. It's currently as set up as a field roller. I suppose we should really take advantage of being able to do that before we add in precision farming. And the other really cool thing, and I have spoken about it in another video already, but it's so cool, I'm, I need to test it, but I'm really pleased to see that the KS6B root crop harvester is now in FS22. And I cannot wait to get my hands on that thing, it was so good in FS19. Um, I used it a lot in FS19, as you will know if you've watched my channel, pretty much every video that had root crops in it would have had one of those running, or two, or three, or four of those running. And they're so cheap that you can use loads of them. We should probably pick these bows up at a slightly lower speed. And because it was contract, I'm not sure how many bales came off this field, but it's quite a lot. I'm pretty sure when Dagoin did it, he got in the 60s, something like that, I think. I recently watched his video. And uh, yeah, I have a work call coming in, so let's get into some time lapse, shall we? Take two. Someone forgot to hit record, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Um, so I thought, shall I change the plan? I would show you selling the first, or delivering the first lot of bales up to the BGA, see how many uh, Cartec has agreed to deliver to our BGA. Yeah. It doesn't all link together properly, does it? It's a video game. Let's just go with it. But we'll, uh, we'll see how many they want to take from us and uh, check to see if it does in fact go in to the BGA as silage that we can then process. That's going to be cool. Going to be really cool. Very cheaty if it works, but it's also really cool. And because we'll get paid multiple times, because we're going to get 20 grand for the contract, and then we'll get uh, the money for selling the bales to the BGA. I think we're probably going to have to bring the Ford up here with the front load up to, uh, to manage the bales. I do still want to get that little skid steer, but I don't think that will be man enough for the job of managing silage bales. Okay, so off they go.
Looks like the bunker is full. And we are contract complete, it would seem. And we have a BGA full of silage. Let's switch that on. And these bales are silage and ours. Awesome. I think we'll just get these tidied up and uh, get them put somewhere more sensible. But we have a lot of silage bales now. What's that? Three, six, nine, twelve. So we delivered 12 bales to complete the contract. Mm. So I'm going to do it's it, it can take some. Yeah, I don't mind if it takes some of those bales. It's all going to go to generating cash and digest it for us, which we're going to need. So that is not a problem. Um, as I said earlier, I think I have sped the BGA up and rather than 24 cycles a month, it's doing 240 cycles a month, which is way less than the mini BGA does, but it is uh, more than this used to do. So it means we're going to get through about 160,000 litres of signage a day if we kept this thing fully primed. But we want to keep the bales uh, because bales are easier to move to the new save when we move to version 1.2 and we have lots of loose silage so we do need to start bringing that up here to get that processed yeah so we'll have 11 bales so yeah we'll have delivered 13. pretty nuts that it's a pretty lucrative contract um insanely cheatedly so maybe I didn't expect, I expected we would have got maybe 10 bales left at the end. Um, but I reckon we've got 50, probably. Let's see if we can do a half decent job of tucking these into the corner. See, we own this BGA yard, so we can store our bales up here and that'll make it much easier to sell them back to, or sell them, deliver them to the BGA. And yet we're going to use the uh, the fence and the bale loader to collect the rest of the bales off of field 7 and also to get all of our bales collected up. So future me will be with you in a bit to uh, get all that done and here he is so i think there was some interference on that last bit of audio hopefully i can clean that up when i go back in and edit the sound properly uh, something that occurred to me as i was just watching that and saying about how we own the bga yard if you were starting from scratch on here and you wanted a really cheap start you've got the bga yard which has got a bunch of clear space in it and a sh at least one shed already um, you've got bits of common land. You could do a really nice cheap start on here, I think, particularly if you did silage to start, because you've got three areas of grassland. You've got the BGA. Yeah, that'd be a really interesting way to start a game on here. What I was just getting out tractor to check is these bales, they're contract bales, and they are already silage, which is really cool. So, um, means we can feed them into the BGA when we're ready. For now we're just going to store them up here at the yard yeah there's a lot of space up here that you could use to turn into farming you've got the shed where i'm keeping the combine um and you've got the kind of wasteland next to it which you could probably buy for a reasonable price and put fields in if you wanted or you've got you know the fields around it are very big so just going to collect some of our bales up on the way back from the bga so, Mr. Kartek was very generous in letting us use his tractor and bale collector to get this done after we did the contract for him where it feels like we've really ripped him off with only delivering like, uh, was it 14 bales to the BGA? Um, I think that's a known thing with grasswork contracts that deliver to a BGA that um and what i suspect happens is that you fill up the bunker in the bga 
and it counts the bales still that go into the trigger as being delivered but because they and then they don't the contract completes so the bales switch ownership to you and then you can pick them up again so i guess an interesting test of that would be if you filled the bga first and then delivered the contract bales we need to do that test we definitely need to do that test and um, so i'm just stacking i think i can only get two trailers full of bales into that shed with how this works so we're going to keep two down that's 48 bales i think which is loads it's going to be plenty so the rest can go up to the bga to be stored um, i think off this contract we kept something like 22 bales and we got paid 20 ish grand that's nuts those bales are all going in the bga that is a nice fat payday and i didn't need to lease a bale collector this is a win-win contract for us um yeah probably slightly unbalanced and i think it's due to that feature maybe in how the bga or how the delivery of bales is being counted i desperately need to tidy the yard up um, i do need to put another shed in i do intend to put another shed in um i just haven't got around to it yet that might actually wait until we move maps i might do it then We'll see. We just close the gate and uh, I think we'll go grab a couple of bales from the field by the horse area and then deliver these to the BGA and you'll see this is the point where the custom bale wrap kicked in. Uh, so we have our disturbed simulations branded bales. I think they look they look so cool actually on the bale loader right these ones are going to go to the bga i think or do i take these back to the farm to the bga now so the plan is to well i do feed a bunch of these into the bga the more sensible thing would be for me to keep taking the loose silage up to the bga to sell because the bales will move easier which i think i said earlier in this video um the problem is I have a tiny trailer and really my tractors aren't up to pulling a bigger trailer so probably just before I do the move um, whatever's left in the pit I will lease a lorry and move up to the BGA and put through the BGA but really I need to be doing that all the way through because otherwise it's not a process so uh, you will notice there I missed one of the bales in the wrapping so it's a grass bale with the joy of seasonal changes it doesn't rot so when we get to it we'll wrap it but I think that stack full of wrapped disturbed bales looks awesome if you watching Casa, I really appreciate you doing that bale wrap for me it's really cool I need to implement it into more of the different bale types you see a completely full one here I just think it looks brilliant I need to add some more foil colors as well to that ba that bale wrapper that I'm using. So yeah, we've got three and a half trailers full of bales to feed into the BGA. And I think we've got something like 300,000 liters left in the pit as well. Most of that needs to go in the BGA, so yeah. Good job, I've tuned it up a bit. Yeah, yeah, I definitely need to look at an option for leasing a big trailer and either a cheap big old tractor or a lorry to get that shifted. Definitely need to look at that. I think we're done and uh, I'm sorry Cartec, it, it'll buff out, I promise. I'll, uh, I'll pay for the damage as well. A quick thank you to all the channel members just scrolling past on the screen. I'm pretty impressed. That's the only only dent I put in your tractor. And I used it for a long time. So yeah. You probably must have expected it when you got me on to do the job and lease me a tractor, you know. At least the Landini you gave me is still fine, because it ain't moved. Um we brought it back up to the shop because we're considerate contractors and also because there's something in the store that i want to buy so we've got 20 grand for that jcb is on a really good sale um it's like half price so we are going to borrow a bit more money and get that on the farm um 
Yes, we're borrowing more money, but I think it'll be really useful to have on the farm. And I'm looking to replace the Ford, I think. The, uh, the slightly clunky gearbox is frustrating me. So as we sell the um, silage through the BGA, I might look to replace that with another tractor about the size of the fence. So we've got two field work tractors that, that um, particularly will run on auto drive and course play. I'm finding that the Ford doesn't work on course play very well. It won't, it won't, the gearbox just gets stuck and it goes so slowly. So yeah, that's why I'm looking at replacing it. It's a great looking tractor, but yeah. I don't think we really need four tractors on the farm and a telehandler. So I think it's gonna have to go at some point, probably when something good comes up in the sale and we've got a little bit of cash that we can add to it so we can buy it without having to borrow money. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good addition to the farm. We need to change all our tools over and all that kind of thing, but we'll do that slowly. Just going to have a bit of a tidy up now. Need to give the mowers a good wash and get those put away. Yeah. It's a really nice looking tractor. It's kind of frustrating that the uh, the gearbox just doesn't really work very well, particularly as said with course play. I have tried um, editing the XML and Gearboxes are really hard, and um, the fact that it doesn't work well is not a dig at the modder. Um, I tried copying and pasting a gearbox from a Giants mod, and that didn't work. So, you know, I don't know what's going on there, but I guess the other, any other way would be to make it massively unrealistic and give it a, a CVT gearbox, but, you know. We might end up holding on to it for some stuff, but... I don't think I need a telehandler and a loader tractor at the moment. So, yeah. Baler and the fent are wash. And yeah, this is where we're going to put the shed where I've cleared some stuff out. But at the moment, we're just abandoning everything. Um, our next job is to get all the grass fields rolled. So we need to change the roller so that it is configured as a grassland roller. And we... Uh, Need some money to repair the fence as well. But yeah. Definitely need to repair the fence. So a bit more tidying up, and I think I go and take a trailer full of silage up to one of the cell points to raise a bit of cash. Yeah, that's about what I'm about to do. Um, that should pay for repairing the fence. It is so, so battered. And the difference when I repair it is incredible as to how well it runs. Um, I hadn't realized how badly the performance degraded over the time that we had just let it deteriorate. And we get to use the JCB for the first time, which again is really cool. I know this is the, this is the telehandler you get on the uh, new farmer start. And I, yeah, you know, as I say, I'm used to much. I had it on uh, on Ravenwood Farm. It's a really nice bit of kit, and I literally, as I think I was saying it in either the last Greenlands video or the last Carmson video, having I have the vehicle sales customizer mod on with it set to give me lots of things in the sale, because it makes me do things like this. Um, I would have never brought a telehandler at this point in the save, um, but this was too good a deal to to not take, and that's going to happen with everything, probably. I'm sure there'll be tractors that come up that I would have never have thought of buying that I'll end up buying on here just because they're a really good deal. And if they come at the right time, we'll be looking to pick them up. That's just how it's going to be, I think. So we're off to the, I think this is the Cotswold stores. Yep. And uh, sell some silage. That's brought in two grand. We've got enough cash in the bank now between that and the BGA paying out every hour to uh, get the fence repaired at least. So let's do that. Seven and a half grand on servicing our old tractor. Should probably put some diesel in as well. There is one more baling contract, but I just didn't fancy doing more grass work straight away. So we're probably going to let that one go, even though it would be a really good earner and a good way to test my theory actually about if the BGA is full, do we keep all of the bales? And we missed a bale when we were collecting. We'll just push it to the side and uh, pick that up in the future. So the roller, as I'm sure all of you will know, without precision farming enabled, will give us our fertilization state for the grass for just the cost of time and diesel. Um, 
So yeah, it seem, seems like a sensible idea to do this. I guess if you've got a lot of grass work, you're probably gonna wanna get into um, a big slurry or manure spreader or spreading solid fur on it, just from a time point of view. I think actually someone has modded the base game field rollers, the bigger ones, to work as grassland rollers. Not sure, but you, know, you might wanna look at that as well if you're running big fields. Um, for what we're doing on here, this is okay. My plan is not to do rolling every time. I suspect that is unrealistic um, and I'll get bored of it. So probably next time we'll do some digestate um, and then when we get to the winter, we'll probably put manure on. At that point, we'll have precision farming enabled. Um, and yeah, I'll probably do it that way. Once we've got precision farming enabled, obviously the roller becomes useless and we'll just keep it as a field roller. Um, but we'll probably do a mix then of manure, digestate, um, solid fertilizer. Yeah, you just mix it up just to keep it interesting. I'm probably gonna do with that in mind because I would also like to put manure on the fields in the winter because I think that's fairly realistic. Um, I would like to hang on to the manure now and try and build up a stockpile so that we've got enough to do that. We probably don't have enough cows to do all of the fields, I suspect. Um, might buy some in, I don't know. It's just something I've been pondering as to, uh, rather than just going all out with the chemical fer fertilizer, we might see if a local farmer has an excess of manure. I believe Cartec might, um, but it's all come from male cows. Yeah. You'll only get that joke if you're on Discord. So. And if you were paying attention. Yeah, so we'll get this one done. We'll, uh, we'll get the other um, communal area over by the, I think it's the garden center rolled as well today. Um, and then the other grassland we will have to do tomorrow. I'm, uh, I've got a really nasty habit. Because although I play on time, fixed times five, I've got a nasty habit of just going stupidly late on here because I don't want to progress. But actually, we need to be pushing time forwards anyway. Um, so I'm going to work until it gets dark and then we'll skip ahead to the next day and finish off what we need to finish off. Not a lot left to do in this month. Um, and in fact, in June, I think we have pretty much nothing to do. So my plan is that the next video we might be skipping into July because we could be getting some early harvesting going then. And the sooner we get harvest done, the sooner we can progress to the updated version of Carmston and getting precision farming in, which is what I really want to get to. Um, not going to overly rush, um, just not going to be doing, you know, pro if we weren't skipping ahead, I'd probably spend June contracting and bringing cash in. I'm not going to do that. I might do some of it off camera. What I will be doing is feeding um, silage into the BGA to keep that moving and keep that processing and looking after the cows, basically. I think everything else will be fine on its own. And so, yeah, you probably see me in July next. So we've got those done. Uh, we need to feed the cows now. So I haven't done that in a while. Again, something I'm really looking forward to with Maze Plus is I'm gonna be able to change it so my cows eat a lot more. Um, if any of you watch the streams that I do with the Alien Pool, um, the, on their multiplayer server, they run a very, very heavily edited um, animal food additions file, which massively increases the consumption of the animals and uh, also changes, you know, how much slurry and manure they put out because they're eating more. So you do get a benefit from it. You get more out of the other end because you feed more in, but it does mean you're having to feed much more regularly. And there'll be a bunch of videos on how to do that kind of thing as we get closer and uh, once Maze Plus is available for everyone. There yeah. Um, I guess I'm, I'm kind of running out of things to ramble about at the moment. Stuff that will have happened by the time you watch this because I'm a few days away from releasing this video. So hopefully um, the update for the mini BGA is currently in console testing. 
hopefully it will pass today the bigger bga that i have built has just passed console testing as i am recording this so hopefully that should be releasing in the next day or so maybe about the same time as this video comes out the um the fixed crop prices mod which some of you might have seen me talking about on discord should have released um it was pending release as i am recording this it's been pending release all weekend which is really frustrating just picking up a bail for for the telehandler um, and the forage dealer is still in testing so i had to s fix some bits with that um but it's in testing at the moment again it's been in testing all over the weekend so we'll see how that goes um there has potentially been a big drop of mods from me so if you uh if you like the if you like the channel download them and rate them five stars now i know a lot of you that are watching probably won't like the fixed crop prices mod to be honest i'm unlikely to use it in almost all of my game saves you might see it in one coming up soon um but most of my game saves you won't see me use that it's generally not how i like to hang on to my crops to wait for a good price um but i know people want it um, I was speaking to DJ Goham on Friday when I was hoping it would release and he is super excited about that. Um, and I think there are a lot of people in the community that don't want that. Um, I've harvested my crops, so I've now got to keep them for six months before I can sell them. So I'm hoping that one is going to be really popular. And uh, again, I've forgotten the name of the person who asked me to do it. Um, you did comment on my video. I'm sorry, I'm awful with names, particularly at the moment. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoy it as well but yeah even if you yeah, okay. if you don't like that mod don't don't download it or you know whatever don't just go and rate it down because it's not how you play um, i'm hoping that if you're watching this video particularly if you're 20 minutes in you're not that kind of person um, and you'll actually do the, the really nice thing and uh, go and rate it download it and rate it five stars um, just loading some silage into the bga why should you rate it five stars? Oh, um, it's not all about this for me, but I get 50% more if it's over four star rating. All models do. And uh, at the moment, that extra cash is really freaking helpful. Um, not that modding really pays much at all, but yeah. as they say on the ads in the UK, every little helps at the moment. So yeah. Um, if you want to do something to really help me out go rate my mods five stars and uh, like my videos and comment on them i'm trying to do the whole plugging like subscribe all that stuff a bit less at the moment because i don't know if it gets boring for people um, so yeah it really helps out I'm gonna overfill this so um we'll leave some bales some full bales just sitting in the bunker waiting till you can see waiting to process i'm sure you've all done that before um just means we have to make less trips up here um, and even though i have sped this bga up a little bit it's not overly stupid about how it's paying out so i think it's quite a nice balance of uh increasing the cycles by a factor of 10. um my BGAs do a lot more than that. Um, but I think for this style of gameplay, it's probably okay. Although I am likely to build one of my new BGAs on here when I can afford it. Whether that will be the mini one or the bigger industrial BGA, I don't know. The industrial BGA could be a direct swap for the BGA that's on the map at the moment. It's based on the same model. So, you know, actually that might not work well because there are some other bits around it. But yeah. Uh, so the industrial bga has got um an electricity recharging point so if you're running electric vehicles um there are links to some of those on my discord um and it's got a methane refill point as well so if you're running you know methane or electric powered vehicles you can use your bga to recharge or refill those which i think is really cool uh, i need to do a feature video on the mini bga updates and that bga um need to try and record that probably today which is going to be tricky because today is very busy so not sure how i'm going to fit that in oh well maybe it'll come out after they've come out what one thing that i, I get really excited and really nervous when uh, when mods drop um and then i have to keep refreshing youtube to wait for um 
DJ's reviews and Mr. CDP's reviews. Those, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate and respect the reviews that both of those guys do. So I am pinned waiting to uh, see what they say. Um, and actually with the, when the mini BGA came out, I, I went and found a bunch of random little YouTubers and watched their reviews as well and uh, left a couple of comments for people to try and clarify things for them, which maybe weren't clear. Um, with how the BGA, that BGA works, so yeah. So, let me see some other people's content, I guess, which is always good. Um, you know, I I guess like many people get stuck in a habit of watching the same YouTubers over and over again, and unless the algorithm throws something at me, I probably won't find it. So yeah, that was quite useful. Uh, it's quite good to find other things to watch on YouTube because the YouTube algorithm is very random pretty much done on here um there will be some stuff coming on the channel in the next day or so about some new things that are coming so keep your eyes peeled for those and uh hope you enjoyed the video and i will catch you next time on fs22